Hey nom noms. So I know today is a bit of a change. <laughs> I didn't feel like wearing my normal long wigs, my inches. I just feel like, you know, experimenting with this. Um, no, it's not my hair. <laughs> I'm still trying to grow my hair all under all of this. Um, my natural hair. I will give you an update on what is happening on my natural hair in a few weeks time. Today is another story time, but it's also another makeup tutorial. And I think today is the last story time. I'm so bummed to say this because I know how much you guys have been enjoying story times. Um, you guys have been... <laughs> going crazy about them but i think i should save some of the stories that i have i should just tuck them under you know and just you know like keep them for future sex you never know when i might need them because content creating can get tough um so yeah so as you can see i have already done my eyebrows off camera and i'm just gonna do a makeup look a simple makeup look i think but with these things, you just don't know. Sometimes you can just go overboard, but you say, no, I'm going to get an eyeshadow. <laughs> and the next thing you've got, like, eyeshadow. Speaking to the makeup gods, <laughs> basically. So, yeah, guys. My baby skin primer. I'm going to prep my eyes for the lazy eyeshadow look that I'm going to do. Nothing here thick, hopefully. This nigga asked me out on a date and I ended up taking him out on a date. I ended up paying, I, I ended up basically being the one who, who, who paid, who took him out on a date. So when I come here, have I sit and meet the love of your life because So first year, um, I meet this guy. So as you guys know, I'm doing mining engineering. I meet this guy. Let's call him. Okay, we'll get Tip. Yes, we're gonna call him Tip. So I meet with Tip. Um, and I like with Tip. We are studying together since we're doing the same course. We like when we have um, a test or tutorials, we're normally doing it together. He's showing interest. I'm showing interest. I kind of like him. He seems to kind of like me. So I'm just like, okay, this could get somewhere. So obviously, what then says, um, he's interested. And I'm like, okay, I'm interested as well. You know? But what's happened tells me that he's not really interested in having a serious relationship. He wants like a chilled thing you know and i'm just like because my idea guys i i told you in my first story time i'm not i wasn't really uh, a fling person i didn't know how those things worked so i usually get on to dating do you get what i'm saying so yeah now babes was like no he doesn't want anything serious he, he just wants like a vibe or type of things and i'm out here being with nomta like hmm? vibe or nomta has never been in a vibe or fling because i always thought that you know, man you're taken for a when you i don't want to say so i was just like no i don't want um vibe i want a serious relationship you know i i want a relationship and he's then like you know it's gonna be hard because you know he hadn't thought that far dun, 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 dun. and i'm just like no it's cool bro like it seems like this whole thing will not really work out because we don't we're not looking for the same thing um yeah so we kind of call it quits and i then i think from then on i just saw that I, like university guys are not really about this commitment thing hey like it's it's rare to find someone who's just like i'm looking for a relationship i'd like to be in a serious relationship with you a long-term relationship with you so from then on i just saw about hey okay 
this is how things are done here so with that being said i then like kind of fixed myself to then be in tune and say okay seemingly this is how things are done in varsity let me just try this whole fling out thing so not with him now so i moved past that we're no longer talking he's doing his thing on the side um he's doing his thing actually not on the side he's just doing his thing so i totally forget about him so whatever so at the end of that first year so he's like I'm guessing like he's done with the whole flinging. He's been with girls. He's been around. He's experimented. He's seen. Okay, no man. This is what university has in stock. So he comes to me. Mind you, now I've then switched and became him. I started the whole fling thing. Now you get out the out here. Okay, no, I wasn't actually. I wasn't really because I only flinged with like one or two people. So. I think one person in fact so i was in the middle of a viable fling thing with this other guy and he knew because this guy i was flinging with was from the school of mining so whatever then comes to me and says he's thought about it he he thinks that we should be in a serious relationship he'd like to pursue a serious, serious relationship with me and i'm just like you that's a bit tough because at the moment now i am basically doing what you were doing a few months back i am within well within flings right now like my mentality basically is doing fling is on fling mode and yeah and now you are here saying you want a serious relationship and i'm not quite there so it becomes a bummer he cries as he's pleading me and now I'm like, dude, I'm not there. I can't give you a serious relationship if my mentality is not there. So he's he's bawling his eyes out. He's crying, pleading me that, dude, like, I really like you. I re Like, I really want to be with you. Um, I can see a future with, like, like, I can see a future with you. And I'm just like, who? And then... <laughs> And then, um, what happened was, he he then says to me, so he says what he's saying, and I just tell him, yo, dude, like, I'm so sorry to hurt you, but, and guys, I wasn't even doing, like, I wasn't doing a purposely to hurt him. I was just not feeling a serious, serious relationship at that point. I was not in the mood for one. So I didn't want to say, yeah, let's try it out when I knew that my heart wasn't there. So I tell him, hey, dude, like, maybe some other time. But at this point, like, I'm really not feeling a serious relationship. So sharp again. Oh, guys, like, okay, then. So he's he, he's crying, and I'm trying to console him. But at the same time, he's like, like, this is, it's not that deep. Okay, maybe it went that deep, <laughs> but it's not that deep. Like, and then he's like, it's fine. So he kind of comes into terms with the fact that I'm not really there. Is that I then continue with my life. Then the following year, he then tells me, uh, we're not really, we're no longer in the same school. And he then tells me that, uh, like he can't get over me. He's been thinking about me. Can Like he basically pleads me. Like, can you just try it out? Like, you, there's nothing that you will lose by trying it out. So I'm like, okay, yeah. So the following year, I wasn't really into a relationship. I was single. So I was like, okay, yeah, he, it's true. Like, it's not like there's anything I will lose. So he's like, can I just at least take you out on a date? And then you'll decide after that. Like, coolio. I'm going out. I'm all, I'm all about going out. I love going out. Um, so I was dressing, like dressing up and all of that. I was excited. But at the same time, I knew at the back of my mind that I wasn't really into him in the way that I was first year, like the first, first time. Because I was really into him. And then you know, he's like, no, I want to fling. So I was just like, yo. And then I kind of took him out of my mind. And then now he's like, can you please try? I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's, let's just try it out. So fine, the day of the date comes. I'm happy, I'm amped. So I dress up. I wasn't like too fancy, but like, you know. 
so uh, by the bus stop because we're with students so their buses must like, take us to Rosebank. so it's the weekend it's a saturday he had said okay no we'll just go out for a movie then after a movie we can just go out eating so we get we get to the cinema at the zone Rosebank mall and then um we get to okay we decide on which We then decide on uh, a movie that we're gonna watch, you know? uh, and then we go on to like buying the tickets. Like a fan. He we pick the seats, and then he he's about to pay, right? Because now, guys, I believe in the whole policy of. If you ask me out on a date, or if you ask me out, plain blank in general, like, I assume that you have money, you will pay. Because, I mean, why would you ask someone out if you know that you don't have money? Um, so, m my thing was, okay, he's going to pay. And obviously, when I ask him out on a date, I will be that with one who pays. Like, for me, that's how it works. Shabuke. <laughs> This guy enters his pin, puts his card in, enters his pin, something goes wrong. I don't know what goes wrong. So obviously, I, I wasn't looking. He then tries it again. Something good, like, go see me, and I'm just like, okay, what's happening? He's like, no, something's wrong with his card. And then he's like, okay, he wants to go back. He wants to go to the bank and just check it out. Mind you, it's the weekend and it's late. Like, it's not even like early in the day. It's like well, my four or five. And this guy is like, banks are closed. So you can't even go inside the bank and try and find out like what the matter is. So we go to the, most of this, that ATM ne? It's, it's not an ATM, it's almost like a self-service thing whereby you have a call as well. Like if you have a problem maybe with your card or your account or whatever, you, you call customer service and they, they try to help you. So he calls them and apparently his card is blocked. Um, I don't know how. He's, he's telling me that it has something to do with a PIN. Um, he entered the PIN wrong and then the next time it just blocked and I'm like... And then he's like, the only way they can, they, they'll obviously be able to unblock it um, Monday, Saturday, remember. Can we only, okay, they can only unblock it Monday. And I'm like, wow, oh, okay, so what is going to happen? Because you don't have cash. So he had tried, before he went to that customer line thingy, he had tried the atm i don't know what happened with the atm i don't know if the card became blocked or something like gee it wasn't responding I, mean, I didn't know whether it was money and money issue a blocked card issue like i didn't know what was happening so now it's it's a great moment it's so awkward so i'm just like okay so what are you suggesting so we're literally chilling outside f and b and i'm just like so what are we gonna do and then he's like, yo, dude, I really want this day, like, but I don't know what's happening with me. And I can see he's frustrated, yeah. So I'm just like, okay, I'll... Because, guys, I was excited, you know, like, I was excited to watch this movie. So I'm just like, are you telling me now that I, I came all this way? I dressed up. I came all this way. And now I have to go back. So I'm like, okay, it's fine. I'll pay. You just pay me back. And then he's like, okay, it's fine. So I end up buying. Mind you, guys, <laughs> I had not planned to pop out money today, and I say this because sometimes you budget these things. Like, especially as a student, I'm not working, so I'm out here spending my own pocket money on a date that I did not even ask for. I'm annoyed at this point, but I'm just like, as in. It's fine let me just enjoy the movie so i tell him that this is only going to be the movie yeah, dude your plan was to go to a restaurant but i cannot afford that in fact like i don't want to afford that <laughs> honestly i don't want to i don't want to i mean like i'm not gonna take you out on a four on date whereas you're the one who's supposed to be paying he's like no it's fine he understands 
and then find out buy the tickets i buy popcorn as well I buy cool drinks and then we out sh we out there so fine we watch the movie it's awkward now because i'm just like hey this dude is not taking me seriously he's not serious you say you want a girl you're trying to impress a girl but you out here like having your car messed up or something dude when you're going on a date and you really want to go you will take out money way before way before you even go there so that no mistakes are done it's first impressions how can your first impressions on the first date be that so i'm just like dude it's fine at this point i don't like i'm not that i don't mind i'm just like i'm okay with paying but as long as you pay me back because i want to be able to take you out on a date that i want to take you out on i don't want to be paying for a date that you ask for so um what happens after that is that i then okay so we're chilling we watch this movie it's a it's a good time it, it's a funny movie um so like we're enjoying it although there's the elephant in the room and the fact that dude you did like you did not okay i'm gonna try and go bold here you did not pay for this date and i know like it seems so materialistic but guys trust me when you are when like even me if i were to be into a guy and then i ask that guy out on a date and then shit like that happens now guys i'd be embarrassed for days i'd be embarrassed for days but how can peacefully minding their own business get ready only to find out that you're saying that they should get ready to pay for something that they did not ask for so for me it was just like wow so i was embarrassed for him i was just like yeah i, I and at the same time remember i said that when i was even coming to the state i wasn't really into i was skeptical like i was just like okay i had put so much trust and and dependency on the date that i was just like it will depend on the date and how i feel and how my feelings are throughout the date that will determine if i actually want to be with this guy and now the date was a bummer so i was just like nigga you blew up your chance you blew up the one chance to try and convince me why i should be with you <laughs> i'm just i know it sounds so wrong but it's the truth it's the honest truth so after that okay, after the movie we head out to the bus bus stop for the vets bus we get on there and this guy is all lovey-dovey touchy-touchy and i'm like I wish you weren't doing this because I'm not into it. On our way back, who oh, babes? is trying to kiss me, and I'm trying to avoid that. So as we are about to approach his ways, he kisses me, and I'm just like, oh boy. So after that, fine, okay, we go, we go our separate ways. He gets off with the race, okay? I get, I go and head towards my race, and then yeah so what happens after that is that obviously he, he he's talking to me about it i'm i'm like within the page and i'm just like no i'm not in there i'm not with there with you yeah so as much as i don't tell him this directly I then text him about a week after the date because I've been like going around thinking to myself do I want to have a second date with this guy and he's not really speaking about Indo Bozo and Padala name Lemal <laughs> guys Lemal is sensitive a good relationship is sensitive Landria can we can we at least agree so you too ba like if let's say for example I do peel Lemal I see so it be okay with it don't decide for me that I, you know, I don't know if this is getting out the way I want it to, because it kind of looks sweet. So I then say to him that, so at this point, I'm not like I only read I'm in the back of my mind, but so you know about what was a nigga name. 
le mal. I don't know how this looks. How does this look? I think there's going to be. I think I just ruined this makeup look. Right. Let's just do the other side. So I say, what happens? I, I say, I tell him the truth. But I'm not really feeling this relationship thing with you. Um, and I'm not even like really looking into being in a relationship, to be honest. So yeah, the date was fun. As much as it didn't like i wasn't lying it was the movie was fun i enjoyed the date but i wasn't really looking forward to to dating him so i tell him that and then he's like yo and then he he blue ticks me he never responds to the message so i kind of tell him and explain to him where i'm at like where my head space is and i think he got hurt i think he got hurt so he never really got back to me he literally blue ticked me on WhatsApp and I was just like tense and he never spoke to me again. So now I'm just like Andy as well why I made to get loop because because I mean I would he had rather had me lead him on and then wake up with him later on or is it fine now? I'm just ruining this whole look. So I move on with my life because I'm just like. So he would also, like, if he'd bump it, like, he'd bump into me, he would act like I'm non existent, which I found a bit childish because I was just like, dude, okay, I know I hurt your feelings, but we could talk about it. You could express what you're doing, then move on with your life. You don't have to carry that whole thing by, I'm gonna be having a grudge so i was just like oh, it's childish anyways he's acting childish so fast forward the story i move on with my life and i then find out like a few it was it was probably a month and a few weeks i find out that okay we are jola ne? I'm like, okay, I'm happy for him. I found out he had Joel with someone else here in the school of mining. So now, even this girl has an attitude. And I'm just like, but when I say in the Gwenzin. So basically, <laughs> the story behind Young Land, when I try and find out, and why is she acting all weird, is that apparently, what's happening? was still into me and he could not stop talking about me so whatever girlfriend he'd have he'd be like he'd be always comparing that girlfriend to me so i uh, i remember the story i was told by this girl he's like yeah when you did something to him and i'm like i well, what would i have done and then the, and then and i'm like i'm asking her bible what happened why do you say that and then she tells me my dude like the girl so the, before the girlfriend from school of mining the girl he had he was constantly comparing that girl to me like why don't you have why don't you go to the gym like who's norm ta why don't you have why don't you wear this like he was basically trying to <laughs> to change those girls into me of some sort so this the girl again he then had he then dates with school of mining then has an attitude towards me and i'm like okay and then they like he apparently does the same thing like he's trying to compare this girl to me like why don't you go to the gym and then this girl starts going to the gym i'm not saying i'm not entirely saying look listen listen <laughs> i'm not entirely saying that this girl went to the gym because of me but i'm just saying like he started going to the gym and they started being gym partners they it was like this here and i was happy i was genuinely happy for them um yeah i was genuinely happy for them like dude anyways um it was, it was just an awkward situation like whereby this girl just didn't like me and it so happened that i had filled a position called pro and i had to write minus news um it's almost like a tabloid magazine thing that was pure all you have to write that year in office so I happened to issue a story on Utsepo, this girl, and yeah. And I'm basically talking about the relationship and whatnot. Um, and I'm, I'm, 
there was just a controversy which that had happened it was a joke even but oh baby girl didn't take it as a joke i think that gave her even more like animosity towards me so she generally now didn't like me like she wasn't playing she was a little she just generally didn't like me she had she was just against me so yeah which but i like her like i like her um even though she wouldn't say the same thing about me um so yeah um yeah it's whatever like chain of these like that it's whatever because even the way he he reacted was just off <coughs> you acted like could you at least say something say oh daniel or whatever don't blue take me and then act like i don't exist or is a couple of minutes ago you were like you see a future with me so yeah we did that that's what happened on how i took a guy to a date ended up paying um and then when i tried to tell this guy that hey dude this is not gonna work he blue checks me never talks to me again <laughs> doesn't take out life uh, so comment down below guys on what you think about the story time um suggest any other videos you'd like me to do because i've been doing story time so i'm soon probably do it in the future but yeah this was the last story time i hope you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe on the red button below click the notifications bell so that you don't miss any videos that i do post and all the best for exams guys all the best for the rest of the year look also what do you think what do you think of this hair do you think i should wear it out more i think it suits me <laughs> um comment 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 share the videos so i'll tell your friends tell your family tell your parents tell people tell your cousins that hey this is go go subscribe to our channel